Hello everyone, my name is Teddy Prism and welcome back to Dust and Elysian Tale. We were on our way to find the lady under these caves uh, and well, not much else, so let's just continue. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was close one. Up, out. Let me up. Yeah, I was uh, too greedy there. Anything here? Well, a couple enemies here, uh, but... Is there anything else? Well, me flying uh, too, but... Well, apparently we are going down. Anything over here? Spikes that I own. Hit, but anything else? Oh, I can't see anything. Ah, this helps. Maybe down here. Yes. Spikes. More spikes. Up, up, up. E. And heading down. And save point. Well, that was easy. <laughs> easy way to handle those enemies. I thought that was uh, just part of the scenery here. How far down we are going to go here? I have no idea! And down you go. I'm starting to get hang of this, you know. How did I heal, by the way? Oh, just hates. And big buff, big buff. And what did I Massive. Oh. I still need the uh, these. What does it give to us? Quite nice amount of attack. Much more than uh, what I get from this. Can I make anything very stuff? could be useful for us. Not really. Everything else I have is uh, about same or better than what I already have equipped. No, what I could make. Not equipped.
I hate to be falling down from here. And let's get rid of these and then uh, open up the treasure chest. Down, left, down, up, right. Ooh, Ring of Apprentice. What does it give to us? Little bit of regen and some attack, but we lose a bit of defense. But we get the XP bonus, which could be useful. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, let's continue. We should be getting close to our goal here. If I didn't fall straight down. Fidget? Oh. Is something wrong? <coughs> She's been what? silenced, Dust. While in this state, she will be unable to cast her projectiles. Fortunately, the effect is only temporary and will fade over time. <laughs> you mean Fidget can't talk now? At all? That's terrible. Really? Dust, awful. you're enjoying Not this sure I'll get by. too much. Oh, poor Fidget. Come on! Oh, I leveled up. When did I do that? Well, let's uh, get that uh, skill gem. Hmm. Despite the uh, widget getting uh, silenced down here, I think I'll go with a uh, bit more of her abilities. There we go. And let's continue. Ring of mine. I'll have to see what uh, does that do to us. Where is that ring? Bit more cold. Oh. I don't think I'll take this one. I rather take this one. Bring up apprentice as soon as we, I get materials for it. Well, anyway, quick save and down we go. I think I will better check the top of what uh, is uh, there anything we could sell. Uh, ah, hello that we again, haven't my already friend. Sold. I suspected you would return. Especially these uh, materials. Oh, right, cell mode, not buy mode. Ah, we can sell uh, one of uh, each of these. But we also need to get uh, more of these, but uh, I think it's better to get the shop uh, being restocked with these instead of. Saving it for that quest, and after that, selling the extras we have. Anything else that uh, I could sell? Hmm. I think I'll save this one uh, if we ever enter those uh, darker areas. Could be helpful. But here we can actually sell these pendants. Yeah. And should we get something uh, to eat? What could we get? Or maybe. Hmm. Maybe we get uh, this uh, treasure key instead. Yeah. Let's get two of these. Because they always come useful when we find those chests. Your transaction is most appreciated. And let's just continue now. And got seen by dust. Hello, that's probably the lady. Who are you? I am Dust, and this is Fidget. 
We came from mud pots seeking the one they call the Lady. Their springs have dried up, and I'm here to find out why. You would dare enter my domain and question me? Yes, the waters have stopped flowing. I was the one to stop them. Be careful, Dust. I do not believe she's used to being spoken to so casually. I meant no disrespect. Uh, well, I am Lady Tethys, and you will refer to me as such, the with the courtesy here. reserved for all powerful beings of the realm. Okay, Dust, maybe you should dial it back a bit. She's getting pretty ticked off. Lady Tethys, the mud pots need your help. One of them is already close to death, but your healing waters could save his life. You, a surface dweller, would dare to question my actions? Who do you think you are, ordering me to release the waters of life? I would question the motives of any creature, deity or not, that would let their subjects perish without reason. I have felt the endless conflict as my waters ebb and flow through your land, surface dweller. I see this water satisfying the thirst of a creature much like yourself. A killer with a broken soul. A creature like me? You mean... He leads a great army across these lands, spilling innocent blood, and using my waters to give life to his campaign of hatred. I stopped the water, so I could stop the violence. But you are punishing innocents and guilty alike. Your own followers in Mudpot will die without that water. If their deaths are required to save this world, that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. You speak in petty terms. A person, a family, a village. Their deaths, same as yours, are insignificant to the greater good. No, they are not. I sense a terrible danger, Dust. Prepare yourself. I have seen where your path ends, Lady Tethys, and I will not let you succumb to the same fate. Too many innocents have died already thanks to Gaius's campaign. So be it, Surface Dweller. If you would raise your sword against me, then prepare to have your accursed soul ripped from your body and purged in these holy waters! Well, she got angry. Let's uh, deal with her. I was too slow on him. And I'm getting my chains broken too easily here. Well, she's almost done already. One more hit. And I better uh, equip uh, some other healing items. And let's use these to get guns up and equip that. And find the food. There we go. What? What have you done? Beaten you. Now some sense into you, I hope. And I that can too. Feel the darkness slipping from her soul dust. We have done it. She is now safe. Yeah, darkness. Are you all right, Lady Tethys? What is this darkness Ara speaks of? I saw what your general was doing. I could feel the souls of all the innocents he killed screaming for help. And I... I succumbed to that darkness. That desire for justice, no matter the cost. Justice must be tempered with mercy, Lady Tethys. Otherwise, it is nothing more than revenge. I must apologize, Dust. I see now that you willed one of the blades of Elysium. Had I noticed before, 
would have treated you with more respect. Blades of Elysium? I will yeah, explain later. I, I, I like we to know that though. pressing matters at hand. I know you feel like you are doing the right thing by holding back the waters, but Mudpot needs them now more than ever. Oh, the waters, yes. I only hope it's not too late. Indeed. Though your motives were noble, I fear it did little to stop General Gaius and his campaign on the surface. Already I can feel his army's footsteps. They travel north, into the mountains. Then we gotta hurry. Ginger was on our way there too. Before you go, perhaps I can repay you for freeing me of my madness. At the base of the northern mountains, there is a grand estate. The baron of these lands is a man named Cain. He knew your general, and if you help him, he will be willing to assist you in your quest to end Gaius's campaign. How do you know this, I like to know? And how do you know all that? Because I am attuned to the life thread, my dear. I can sense all life through the waters I send to the surface. Now, more than ever, I can feel the despair that all surface dwellers feel because of your general's hatred. He is not my general. Perhaps not now, but I can see you were once very close to this general Gaius. You can see into my past? Your soul is fragmented, like a shattered mirror. I can only see reflections in the broken pieces, and what I see makes little sense, even to me. Hmm. There are powerful forces at work within you, Dust. How a little creature could carry such a shattered soul is beyond my understanding. However, that doesn't matter now. She's right, Dust. If we're going to speak to this Baron guy, we need to get moving. Yeah, I agree. Lady Tethys, but we must make haste. There is a villager in Mudpot who is very close to death. I can feel it now. His life force is very weak. How could I let this happen? What... what have I done? We've no time to waste. Is there a shortcut back to Mudpot? Yes, of course. Right through here. Though I fear you may already be too late. Let's just hope we are not... Just you wait and see. I hope so, Fidget. Goodbye, Lady Tethys. Goodbye, Dust. And good luck. Let's head back out. Hmm. What's this? Need projectile. Projectile. Okay. Oh, nice. I think I'll be using this for a little while. And time to head back. Way. Up this way, and one more seat. One. How do we get out of here? Oh, this way. How did I miss this uh, bomb? Hey, look, sunlight. Fancy that. A final parting gift from Lady Tethys, it would seem. That'll help when we need to return to the surface. But right now we should find Bopo. Lady Tethys seems convinced we would arrive too late. I completely we'll agree. Time. We have to. We did everything we were supposed to. You have much to learn about the world, Fidget. Sometimes even your best is not enough to avert fate. Come, let us make haste to the village. Let's go. It's uh, down here. Let's hurry. Dust, look! The water's running! You did it! We came Yay. back as soon as we could. Where's your mother? She's inside with Pop. Once the water started flowing again, she brought it right in for him. Oh, look, here she comes now. Mama, look, they're here. I told you they'd get the water running again. Where are we in a time or Bobo, not? Bobo, darling. 
Please come inside. Mama? What is it, Mama? He held on as long as he could, but it just weren't enough. Huh? Oh, no! You can't go! Just got the water running, he did! I'm sorry, sweetheart. I truly am. He was such a fighter. It was... It was just his time. And when it comes, there ain't nothing you can do. But we got the water running. We... we failed, Fidget. We weren't fast enough. Damn it! We weren't fast enough! Dust, you stop that moaning right this instant! You did what you could. You did more than anyone. And for that, you deserve all our thanks. You could have gotten the water run days ago. But I think the hurt was just too hard on him. Huh? Did you hear? I got the water running! Huh? Master, let's give them a moment alone. I don't understand. We got the water running. We did everything we were supposed to. Fidget, it's like what Bopo's mother said. When the life thread calls for you, you must go. He was fated to pass, and there is nothing we could have done to stop it. That doesn't excuse this, Aura. Did you know? Did you know we'd be too late? If I told you before, would you still have tried to save him? The village needed its water supply. I would have gone to the lady either way. Then it doesn't matter what I knew, and it is why there is hope for you yet, Dust. What does that mean? Why is it that every time I make a decision, you treat it like some kind of test? What haven't you told me, Ara? This is not the time nor the place. And just what is the perfect time and place? How many more have to die before you tell me who I am? Who am I, Ara? What am I even doing here? Stop yelling! Just please, please stop. I can't take this right now. We did the best we could, Dust. We did the best we could. I'm sorry, Fidget. I didn't mean to... And stop worrying about who you are! You're Dust! You hear me? I don't care who you were. I don't even care if you used to work for that general guy. Because you're Dust now. Wise words, Fidget. Dust, your past is fractured, and your future is not yet written. But you have traveled through this world as a beacon of good, and that is all that matters. You're both right. I'm worrying so much about who I was that I've been blind to the good I've done as dust. Anyway, it's late. We should find a place to sleep. A wise choice. A night's rest will clear your head. And with these final words, we commit Popop's essence to the life thread, where he joins all who have come and gone, who were, and who have been. We'll be seeing you, old friend. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye, Pa. I'll miss you. Bopo. Thank you, Dust. Without you, we wouldn't have any water. You saved Mud Pot. I only wish I could have done more. Nah, you did plenty. You showed me what it means to be strong, even when the world's against you. Pa's gone now, so I gotta be strong for Mama. Strong like you. You're a good kid, Bopo. I think your father would be proud. I think so, too. I also think he's happy I found a friend like you. Thank you, Dust. I'm sorry, Bopo, but I have to go now. I have to get back to the surface, to make sure this doesn't happen ever again. You'll come back though, right? You gotta make sure you come back. I... I can't. Mm. I promise.
Are you okay, Bopo? Is there anything I can do? It just doesn't seem real. Pa's gone and I wish... What is it? Well, I wish I could give him a proper send-off, you know? My whole life he'd been telling me about visiting those snowy mountains on the surface. And now he'll never get to see it. Not unless I help him. Dust, do you think somehow you can try and get me some snow? I think Pa would really appreciate it. Of course, Popo. I understand. When I'm in the mountains, I'll remember to bring you back some snow. Promise. Thank you, Dust. Oh, thanks so much! Honestly, Dust? Snow? How do you intend on keeping it cold? This is important to him, Fidget. We'll find a way. Yeah. We better head. Save for them. Save this game. Are you ready to leave, Dust? I think so, yes. We need to get back to the surface and find that manor Lady Tethys mentioned. Yes, I know of the place she spoke of. An old estate at the foot of the mountains called the Sorrowing Meadow. The Sorrowing Meadow? Is that somewhere between Blood Death Gulch and Endless Pain Hill? It was not always called that, Fidget. It was once a peaceful place. But even now, as we stand so far away from it, I can feel something nefarious emanating from its foundations. Well, that's great! Really, I'm excited. How about you, Dust? You excited? I'm just thrilled, Fidget. Come on. Let's get back to the surface. After this uh, bit of a uh, sad chapter of the story, I think it's good time to call uh, this episode here. And anyway, I will be seeing you next time. Bye!